let's get right into your financial focus. Steve Buden here with us this morning. The Federal Reserve is meeting this week. They're expected to raise interest rates. So what does that mean for you? Steve here to break it all down. Yeah, it's good news, bad news scenario. So if you're a borrower, the Federal Reserve is our central bank. They're the ones who raise and lower interest rates to control how hot or cold the economy gets. So if they meet this week and raise interest rates, things like credit card interest, auto loans, short-term interest rates will go up. So if you're borrowing money short-term, you should see those interest expenses go up. And they're being a little grinchy here because they're doing it right around the Christmas holiday when people tend to be buying gifts and using their credit cards. But on the other hand, if you're a saver, you're looking for CD rates and bank interest rates. Those will tend to push up a little bit. So depending so on where you stand, uh, these interest rate moves will hurt or help you. Steve, is this only if you buy a new credit card? Like, let's say you go, uh, you know, to a store to buy Christmas gifts and pull out a credit card, or is this everybody yeah. monthly payment? Yeah, no, the monthly payment. So the credit card agreements you sign, uh, they do have the right to raise those interest rates when they see fit. So okay. literally, if they raise rates Wednesday, which is when they meet, your interest rate could go up as early as Thursday. All right, cool. This is pretty cool. Starbucks and Uber partnering <coughs> up for service. So, Steve. Uh, what does this mean? If you're in an Uber, yeah, they can yeah. have Starbucks ready for you? <laughs> yeah, who knows? And I love talking about these strategic relationships with these cutting-edge companies. Uh, the future will hold to see how this relationship works. But you, So basically, Uber has had a lot of problems in the past with their uh, corporate governance. They've had harassment issues. New CEO came in trying to clean up their act. They're trying to model after Starbucks, which has a very high uh, corporate morality index. But you can see this synergy here. Like, let's say you call an Uber. Will they offer you Starbucks coffee? Will they have discount cards when you get into the car? Will they take it to a drive through mm -hmm. So interesting to see how this plays out. But I could see how this makes a lot of sense from both St Starbucks and Uber's perspective. Right. All right, and uh, the last thing we want to talk about yep. over the holidays, you'll be seeing a lot of families, so it might be a good time to talk about those financial yep. issues when everybody's together. It's not very fun, but no. you kind of got to do it. I hate to bring this up, but I just had a couple of clients in my office have this issue where, you know, your, your, your grandparents, your parents are going to be coming in for the holidays. Uh, you'll be enjoying the holidays, but as folks get older, their mental capacity tends to wane a little bit. And it's probably a good idea to just say to these family members, you know, do you have the proper legal documents in place, powers of attorney? Because uh, if folks have their mental issues compromised, it could become a problem down the line if they pass away or, or God forbid, need some medical assistance and there's nobody to answer on their behalf. So it's not the best time of the year to talk about it, but it's times when a lot of families are together. Yeah. Not the most pleasant topic, but like I said, I've seen recently where this has come about and the results are not good if you don't plan ahead. Yeah, and the truth is everybody is together during the holidays. So maybe not on Christmas Day exactly, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> another yeah. time when all the families together. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Steve, thank you so, so sure. much. Uh, we'll be right back after the break.